Hello everybody and welcome to the Snow Thunder Morecast, the weekly update where you can find out everything that's going on in the realm of Snow Thunder. Um, as for this past week, we really didn't do much Halloween themed or much at all, which was unfortunate. Um, <laughs> I mean granted, Friday, which was Halloween weekend, I did uh, wear out a pig mask on campus a little bit in uh, for enthusiasm of the the new jigsaw that came out. Yeah. Jigsaw. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. I I enjoyed that. I'm glad I we went to go see it in theaters. Um it was a little bit it didn't feel exactly like a lot of the other jigsaws mostly cuz there wasn't like 14 flashbacks and like hard cuts and just like super weird stuff that actually kind of made more sense in the end than what they portrayed this one as, which is interesting. This one, I, I left a little bit confused and a little bit like, okay, what is that? All right, sure, totally. It it fits into the, the general plot line of Saw, the original series, the first seven movies. It, it feels like there's there's the original saw and then they took this lump of clay and they put it on and they smoothed it out and they, they kind of wrapped it around and like it, it becomes part of it and you you don't it's not obvious that there's like seams and stuff but it's an addition and it's it's a little bit wonky but the movie in of itself not trying to bring it in on the whole franchise, I guess, is better than when you try to connect it to the franchise, like especially right at the very end. Um, I, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but at the very end, there's, like, it, there's a lot of twists in the whole thing. And I think I, I read a review, like right before I went to see it, that someone said that there was a lot of like plot twists and there's it, it it's there were and some of them were a little bit more far stretched than others um and like i was saying right at the very end there's not really another plot twist but like the way they tie things together at the end still didn't feel like they tied everything together like i felt like i had more questions which i'm hoping they're not which really wouldn't effectively be filled in by another movie like that's that's the type of, I don't want to say emptiness, but the type of uncertainty that I kind of left with. Uh, an uncertainty that really can't be amended by another movie. Which, the movie of, of itself was good. It wasn't like a super gore fest. There, it had its moments, but like it wasn't like super duper gory. Like, oh, you butt. The movie in of itself, um... It wasn't like super duper gory. It wasn't like a gigantic gore fest like a lot of the not original Saw movies. Like the everything beyond the the original first one, kind of turned into a, a super gore fest. Um, like I said, it had its moments, but overall, they were, it was pretty ingenuitive. It was a it was a group um, trap. So that was those are generally better, I guess. Um, at least I, I favor a lot of the the group ones from the previous movies and it, it felt it, a lot a lot of it felt original it was more original like nothing was like super stretched it, it felt the traps felt saw like I guess some of them were a little bit tech savvy I guess but overall I would I was happy with it I, I enjoyed it and I'm glad that I got excited to go see it. Um, so it's, it's, I, I'd give it like a like a seven out of ten. It wasn't super amazing, but it was enjoyable, well enough. And mostly that that's mostly because I'm biased. It probably would get like a six from a lot of other critics, but I mean I enjoy it. So, um, anyways, we're getting more guys into the the warframe clan that's mostly people i know no mysterious strangers yet um but you can change for sure it's good i'm 
building like a obstacle course or something. We're getting the Oracle so we can actually start doing research shit, which is cool. Which is the like the whole point of joining a clan, and you can get really cool uh, research blueprints and stuff. Um, also, Will is pretty much going to be getting his own page on the Snow Thunder website um, for um, the meme stream, and <laughs> he's excited for that. I just kind of made a joke of it, and he was like, I totally want to do that. And I'm like, all right, fine. So I guess that's going to happen. Uh, so check that out when that actually does end up happening. <laughs> It'll be enjoyable enough. Um, and of course, if you guys ever have any suggestions or anything about what uh, content should be up on the site, what we should do with it, um, be sure to contact us and let us know. I mean, I'd love to have more direction in my aimless wandering of trying to do shit on the website. Um, which, I mean, I, I enjoy well enough. It's a, it's a good challenge. I, I like messing around with that. Um, also, Brian finally fixed his computer. I mean, it's crazy that it took him this long, but it was like two days ago that I walked in. He just like was sitting in the bull zone. And he's <laughs> One man. Please take a picture, Jared. Three computers. You got something against that? Yeah. <laughs> I've got something against this cable management. <laughs> it's just like slapping his laptop trying to get like windows or something onto his pc and just it ended up he i he ended up finally getting windows on it he had to he was considering just running running linux on it he's gonna boot linux on me ever he better fucking not <laughs> what do you think he's he doing? better fucking not but then something wasn't working uh i mean he did have to employ the help of MacGyver, which is really funny. <laughs> um, but he actually, the his biggest concern with using MacGyver was he wants to rename him uh, Wingyver because MacGyver sounds too much like an apple. And I'm like, I don't, it's, it's, it's MacGyver, it's the guy, the movie, the show, everything. And he's like, no, nah, it sounds too much like an apple. I'm like, I don't care. And then, um, he's currently working on overclocking it, and, uh, I asked him, um, was, was that not the original problem? He's like, Ryan, wasn't the original problem that you overclocked the shit out of this thing? Yeah. What I learned. Like, um, it's like, what you learn? Um, looking forward to stuff in the future. Um, now that Brian's computer is finally fixed, maybe we can do that. Uh, he offered to do a Portal, Portal 2 co-op with me. Oh, help us. Uh, cause he's never done it. And we can do that and it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, <laughs> Michael has some GeoGuessr to play though. Because Brian has control over us, I guess. We're that worried about him subscribing. It's the principle of the matter. Or something like that. I don't know. Michael needs to do something. Speaking of doing something, I should play something other than Warframe. There you go. But the more cast, we're doing that. Ironically, the last one, when I said that, got posted not exactly on Friday. Like they're supposed to. Because Michael was a goof. And he thought he would record his own. And then it was butthole. And then I told him, why didn't you just presume that I did one? He's like, I don't know. And then I was like, don't worry, because mine's butthole too. Regardless. Regardless, regardless, regardless. I'm enjoying this well enough. Having a fun time just messing around. And Will's like, Jared, you're vlogging, you know that. I'm like, okay. It's the Morecast. We called it something special. And if you want an explanation, check out the Morecast page on snowthunder.net. Um, <laughs> I guess that's all for today. Um, be sure to connect with us on social media and all that crazy stuff. Be sure to get on to snowthunder.net. Check out what we got going on there. Uh, Warframe, big thing still. Hop on the gravy train, something like that. 
Um, anyways, stay classy, stay in character, and remember to always pinch before you sprinkle. Have a nice day.